What's up, everybody? This is Rich from True Budget EDC and Prepping. Use your gear, lose your gear, because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So I have a few things planned this week to be doing on the YouTube. Uh, first of all, I want to do a pocket dump, pocket check. Uh, I haven't done one in a while. I just got back from Jersey, and uh, I'm just going to go over the stuff that I have with me when I was in New Jersey. So um, I had, this is the Swiss Army Compact, and it's in a case that I got. So I carried this as my multi-tool uh, because I actually like using a Swiss Army knife as a multi-tool. Put some background down. I'm not really a multi-tool guy, but carry that on my belt. So I have that. I had the Gondek EDC Ouija board Hank. Super cool Hank. So I had that with me uh, this whole time I was away. Uh, it was only a couple days. I left on like uh, Saturday morning, came back tonight. So I wasn't gone forever. Had the uh, law enforcement grade hot sauce, police magnum. Put that in my pocket. Uh, my main knife was the Case Copper Lock in the orange, which was awesome worked really well and because of I, the fact that i had a traditional in my pocket i had the gerber chunk clipped to that same pocket um it actually worked out really well i like that whole setup that was great um then i had the sofren sc29 i've been carrying that for a while i don't think i'm gonna stop actually and then i had my bag which is the fial robin uh high coast crossbody in patina green and a whole bunch of crap in here um but the other knife that I had in here was the uh, uh, very good knife company, Adventure. So I carried that because in case I needed a larger knife with me other than these two. So while I was in Jersey, went to Walmart and uh, I picked up a knife based on a uh, recommendation from Tim. From Tim's School of Fish. So check out Tim if you get a chance. It is a Swiss Tech. Light. Light. Uh, so I'm not going to review it now. Um... I just got it, so I don't want to go over it. There are a few issues with this knife. I mean, you know, whatever. It's a $35 knife. Um, but it's a nice small knife, 6-inch knife, about. Um, some issues with this knife that aren't, like, terrible. And there's some issues with the company. Um, and a lot of people on forums that I've been on thinking that they're misleading people. So we'll go over that when I do the review. But, I mean, I've been using it. It's a pretty nice little... Uh, pocket fixed blade full flat grind it's got this tactile coating they call it on it kind of like a pvd i mean it's not really cerakote right so here's a benchmade bug out mini as you can see i mean it's a similar type material but i don't actually think it's the same as uh as this so this is cerakote uh but overall it's pretty good a lot of people hate the sheath but i don't really have a problem with it it's actually okay um, but we'll go over the good and the bad when I review it. So that is basically, I had all of this stuff on me. I got this the last day before I left, so I didn't have this on me for very long, but I've been using it. It's actually pretty handy. I'm going to carry it this week in my pocket when I'm home as just a little pocket fix blade. And I'm going to give the mini bug out a little sit down because I've been usually using this in my house for my home knife, but this week's going to be this knife. So you guys, let me know what you have had on yourself this weekend uh columbus day indigenous people day whatever the hell day it is you guys let me know what you're carrying you guys have a good one